My name is Emily. I'm 36 years old. I live in Lod, Israel. Basically, I've been asthmatic for like, since I was nine, but it always was mild. So like, you know, an inhaler with me, but use it once in a while when needed and that's it. And uh, at the beginning of 2019, I, can't, I feel like I can't breathe. I walk two steps and I, I just can't catch my breath. I came to the emergency room um, after some tests there, some blood tests, they said the, there's some abnormalities and they want me uh, to get hospitalized and checked by uh, the lung uh, division. Um, well, it was shocking because I ended up staying for over a week um, because of a very poor lung function. And there I, of course, met Dr. Fox. So when I first met Emily, uh, she was hospitalized with a very severe asthma attack. She was in internal medicine on steroids and oxygen, uh, in really bad shape. We managed to get her onto one of the new biological treatments for severe asthma, which are amazing. And her asthma started to get controlled. And once her asthma got controlled, she was able to go and have uh, bariatric surgery. And she just flourished and she lost a lot of weight and her asthma is controlled and she's never in the hospital and she's having a great life. I want to thank uh, Dr. Fox really for his help uh, and assistance all the way uh, and still to this day with the lung treatment and the, the caring and the consultations and getting me back on my feet where I can actually live my life and not just watch them go by. This building here, it's the, the Pulmonary Institute, I think for many years, and it's actually a building that was constructed as a barracks for British soldiers during the mandate, uh, which is really not ideal. And the floor, you know, it's a bit wobbly and the walls are a bit crooked and the water comes in sometimes and, you know, asbestos roof still, you know, which is kind of ironic in a pulmonary institute to have an asbestos roof, right? Because it causes lung disease. So this is our current bronchoscopy room in Shamir Medical Center. It's kind of small, and uh, it's a little bit difficult to, to ventilate it. This room has to be very carefully ventilated because we have all sorts of uh, weird infections, lung infections, tuberculosis, corona. We'll be able to do much more complicated uh, and uh, long and more difficult uh, procedures that we're not able to do at the current time. The design of the new department will have a room which is much larger. Uh, we'll be able to get more equipment in. We're gonna have, uh, hopefully, uh, um, the capability to do anesthesia inside the bronchoscopy room. So that will be a real critical advancement in the new department. We've already got year on year 30 or 40 percent more patients every year, uh, but I expect that growth to continue and you know we're training new doctors here and building a new department and hopefully have enough space to take care of them all. So uh, we really appreciate the help that we're getting from uh, CHW in this very exciting and innovative project. It's gonna be incredibly helpful to the people that we serve.